Noah, and this is Do You Know A Lot. In case you didn't know, one of my favorite subjects is math. Today we're going to read the ABC of Mathematics by Trish Theory. Let's do it. Before we begin with this foot, I want you to look at the back. An ABC book that thrills with your reader. Three levels of learning. Level one, start with the basics. Level two, big build curiosity. Level three, explore and grow. It's cool, right? So the ABCs of mathematics by Trish Fairy. A is for addition. Addition is the mathematics of counting. We use the plus symbol for addition. The opposite of addition is subtraction. We use the minus symbol for subtraction. B is for base. A base number is a number being multiplied by itself many times. An exponent is the number of times the base is being multiplied. Rather than write 2 times 2 times 2, we write 2, two to the power of 3. The number 2 is the base and 3 is the exponent. C is for chord. A tord is a straight line inside of a circle. Tords are used in geometry and trigonometry. Each end of a tord touches the circle. If the tord passes through the center of the circle, it's called the diameter. D is for the vision. The vision is mathematics of fair sharing. The vision separates something into equal parts. The number being divided is the dividend. The number used to divide by the divisor. The vision is the inverse opposite of multiplication. E is for equation. An equation is a mathematical statement that is one thing is equal to another. Equations use the equal symbol to say that the left side is the same as the right side. For example, 3 plus 3 equals 6. The numbers on the left are equal to the number on the right. F is for focus. The focus is the point where reflected lines meet. A magnifying lens has a focus for light passing through it, changing the geometry of the shape changes where the focus is. A focus also used to change the power of magnifying mirrors. G is for golden ratio. The golden ratio is a number equal to about 1.618. The golden ratio appears often in mathematics, nature, and even art. The golden ratio is as given in the symbol of phi. The length of the size of each square above is smaller by a ratio of five. H is for hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is the longest side of a right triangle. A right triangle has 190 degrees square angle. The side of the triangle opposite 
is this angle. It's called hypotenuse. I is for infinity. Infinity is the word to describe the idea of being bigger than any number. Infinity itself is not a number. Infinity is one of the first abstract ideas in mathematics. J is for joint probability. Joint probability is the likelihood of two different events happening at the same time. If two coins were flipped in the air, the joint probability of both coins slant with heads up is one fourth. K is for knot. A knot is a closed loop. In mathematics, the two ends of a knot are joined together and cannot be undone. The basic knot is a circle shape. Some knots can be unwound to look like a circle, and others cannot. L is for a limit. A limit is the value that a sequence approaches but never reaches. A sequence of balls can never can go on for infinity, staying closer and closer into a line but never crossing it. This line is the limit of the sequence. M is for matrix. A matrix is a table of numbers. Matrices are used in the area of mathematics called linear algebra. They can be written surrounded by brackets or parentheses. N is for null set. The null set, not zero, is the set of things with nothing in it. Seems weird, doesn't it? But it is the fact used to create math itself. O is for one to one. One to one is a special mathematical map. A map is a pairing things of two different sets. In a one-to-one -one map, each item in set has only one partner. P is for prime. A prime number is a divisible only by one in itself. Examples of prime numbers are Two, three, five, seven, and eleven. Composite numbers are those that can be evenly divided by numbers. For example, the number four can be divided evenly by one, two, and four. Q is for quadrilateral. Any shape with exactly four sides is called a quadrilateral. Quadrilaterals have straight sides and four angles. A square is an example of a quadrilateral. R is for root. Root is the shortened way of saying square root. The square root of a number is another number that can be multiplied by itself to get the original number. For example, the root of 9 is 3, since 3 times 3 equals 9. S is for subset. The subset is a smaller part of a larger group. If all of the things in one set are contained in a larger set, it's called a subset. Subsets help break complicated groups down to simpler building blocks. T is for torus. A torus is a three-dimensional donut shape. It's basic building block in the study of 
Topology. Topology is the study of mathematical shapes as they are twisted and transformed. U is for union. The union of two sets is another set that contains the elements of both. Unions and intersections of sets behave like the addition subtraction of numbers. B is for variable. A variable is used in equations when a number is unknown. Variables are quantities that can change and take on different values. In this equation, both x and y are variables. W is for whole number. Whole numbers are the counting numbers, including zero. Whole numbers have no fractions or decimals. The whole numbers are not less than zero and are not negative. X is for X axis. The straight line going left to right on the graph is x axis. Relationships between two variables can be shown on a graph. Graphs can be used to describe things like lines, angles, and curves. The points plotted on a graph are called coordinates. Y is for y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point where a line or curve crosses the vertical axis on the graph. The vertical line on the graph is called the y-axis. When a line or a curve crosses the y-axis, the x-coordinate is equal to zero. Z is for zero. Zero means nothing. Whole numbers represent an amount of something, but zero means there is no amount to count. It is also used as a placeholder to show something is missing. For more videos, subscribe the to my YouTube end. channel. Do you know a lot?